Okay, welcome back to the channel, everybody. As you can tell, I'm out in the rotator. Uh, Zach is behind me in the 40 ton, and Tad is behind him in the flatbed with the, um, the mini excavator. And we're headed out to a tractor trailer rolled over in a steel mill. Uh, there's, I believe it's ground up car parts or cars, automobiles. Um, they were dumping the load and um, got most of the way up and the, the trailer toppled, toppled over. And uh, so it still has some of the, the shredded auto, auto parts or metal inside the box. We'll have to scoop that out first and then uh, have to get the, the trailer, most likely get the trailer collapsed back down before we upgrade it. So we're headed that direction now. Uh, probably got another 10, 15 minutes before we arrive, but uh, we'll assess the situation further once we get on scene and, and get a game plan. So stand by. Okay, so we have the steel unloaded. Now we're, we've been waiting on the, um, the steel yard to get the big, uh, whatever you want to call it, the cauldron moved. So now we're moving into position. We have to get the box collapsed down to the frame and then we will operate it from there. So hopefully everything goes smooth with getting the, the box collapsed back down.
now. Something tells me it's not pushing oil through like it should. <clears throat> it ought to be it's collapsing. Up. I know, but it's... Yeah, that's right. Like it's Backside. yeah, pull it underneath the side and get it right straight out. Undo that. The yellow one probably ought to be on the low side, but I need to get a strap so that it goes up over it. You hook this into the yellow and then the hook into this. Well, that's I, I have you back here and catch me back up on a front and run a redirect line off your outer to pull down here and put it put your uh, I don't need redirect to pull down if I'm pulling tipping it up. If I need a redirect, if anything I was just gonna help pull it down one on the front. I was gonna have my one cable in the front with the uh, uh what do you call equalizer it? Yeah, swing. Equalizer swing. Yeah, get it backed in around here. It's the Fuzzmore. Okay.
bring uh, bring your boom in some in and up right there stop yep now raise it up some okay yeah line you're just gonna keep tension on it and it'll do what it's supposed to do you don't want it to walk the front end out Okay, so that has pretty much wrapped it up. There goes Zach back in the uh, 40 ton, He's trying to get it out to the entrance first um, before we get it back to the shop. It's kind of a tight area back in here, but uh, yeah, there he's gonna meet Tad back at the shop and um, they're gonna get everything unloaded. And I have another bus to go get picked up and towed that has a flat steer tire, I believe is what they said. But uh, yeah, all in all, everything went went pretty well. Uh, the mini excavator got, uh, got the steel pretty much pulled out of the box, um, which took a little bit of time, but uh, worked pretty well. Uh, we got the box collapsed back to the frame. 
as you guys could see in the video, the frame of the, the dump box is pretty well, pretty well twisted up. Um, but yeah, we were able to get it collapsed back, got it set up. We used our our Bailey slings um, and the, used the Bailey's equalizing sling up on the nose, which kind of helped uh, cradle the the front end of the tractor during the the upright. But uh, overall, everything went smooth, and um, we'll get back to the shop, get things put away, and see what tomorrow brings. So. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, drop us a comment. Let us know, you know, how we did and if we could anything we could improve on too. So, always open for suggestions. So.